guys, it's me Melissa and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a Dollar Tree haul. Finally, I know, a Dollar Tree haul. My goal this year is to try to make sure I do one a month, if not bi-monthly, so that's my new goal. I went to the Dollar Tree before work and then came home so I could film after work. So I look kind of a hot mess. I have lotion on my shirt. It is what it is. I just wanted to use some of these things like ASAP, so I figured film it. I can't let it sit around for like a week. I also thought about taking some stuff out because like I'm like, oh, do they want to see every single thing I purchased? Like some might be a little too whatever. But I was like, you know what? You're going to see what I went. I went, I got this stuff, and you're going to see it all. <laughs> so without further ado, there were a few new items I hadn't seen before, but I also had not been like looking around the Dollar Tree for a while. I did see the whole new hobby section that they opened up, like the DIY type section. Um, I don't know. I just feel like if I bought any of that stuff... I would suck at it, but they had like little canvases you can get for a dollar, all that stuff, the glitter, paints, all these things. Maybe another round, but this round has went for kind of like things that I actually needed. So first thing I picked up was this. It's just a regular book. I like to write like my wish items that are coming, when they're coming, how much they cost, so I'm ready when they come in just to write it down and be ready to like put it on the thing. And then on the in the back side is usually where I write down my videos, what's coming out. And then as things go, I just rip them out. Well, my one downstairs is pretty much empty. Now, this is not the normal size I normally get. Normally, I get a real one, a real size one, but they didn't have any of those. And I was like, I can make this work. Plus, it's more compact. And then I also picked up one of these little ones. These are, I use for work. So, I'll write down my clients for the day, how much they paid, blah, 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 add it up. Even though my square keeps up with all that stuff, I kind of like to see how I'm doing as the week goes on without checking that thing. So I'm a physical write down kind of person. Like I write everything down. And so that's just the way I do it. <laughs> like I said, not all of these are gonna be exciting. So I'm getting some not exciting ones first. I also picked up uh, six of these clasp em envelopes, which are pretty good for six for a dollar. Um, I'm gonna use these for putting all my tax stuff in to give to my lady to do my taxes. And then I'll put all my like receipts and things in these and have them all set up and good to go. I'll probably use like two or three of these and then I'll just save the rest. I realized the other day that I was out of them. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to start adding up my work stuff and adding, getting it all together. And I wasn't ready. So boom, got those done. Next thing I got was this. I have a matching one already in the bathroom with Epsom salt in it, but I thought I could just store my bath bombs in it. You know what? Cause I mean, I could probably fit six to 10 bath bombs in here. My dad got me these ones for Christmas that are a little bit smaller, but they came in like a big box and he got me two boxes of them. So I have like two boxes that are just like sitting on the floor. So since I had one already like this sitting there, I figure next to it, if I put the bath bombs in there, it'll look a little more streamlined and cute. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I thought. Another random one I picked up um, is a three pack of puppy pads. Now Paco really does not pee in the house. He really doesn't. It's a very rare occasion, but if he does, sometimes, or if like we're going to go out for a long time, there's one little spot he might pee in, and so what we do is take one of these, we cut it in fours, and just put it in that one spot. It's been good, but I only have one of the fours left, so I figured I don't want to be without, so I just picked up this little three-pack for a dollar. Now, you may be able to buy a 24-pack for cheaper than paying like three for a dollar, three for a dollar, but this three, I get four out of each. So I'm good to go for quite some time, if not half a year. Like he barely does it, but it's just good to have them on hand just in case. All right, that's bag number one. Bag number two. Okay, so, oh, I need to grab something. So I bought this doll because I thought that maybe she is the same size as that cart that I got. Let me take her out of this thing and go grab the cart. I'm a weirdo in advance, just so you know. Kid at heart, weirdo, if you're new to my channel and this is the first video you have watched, I'm uh, I'm different. <laughs> so it seems like she's a little short. So if she was down here, but it could be like a little kid kind of pushing it. And her hair is a hot mess. Like one's all crazy town. The other one's all like smoothed out. May I'll put her hair in like one big pony in the back. But the Barbies would be too big. So you can just maybe put her like this, like she's pushing from down here. Don't mind me. <laughs> All right, so also then I went a little crazy. And since I did that, 
um, Lego that I got from Wish recently. I ordered a bunch of more Legos because I was like, I love doing these. Like, I love building stuff. It really is pretty neat, like seeing something grow and knowing you built it. Uh, for me, way more fun than doing the diamond paintings. And you can kind of come back and go to it. Now, these ones I got, obviously, are not going to take a long time. But while I'm waiting for the other Legos to come, it's nice to have something you can kind of just do. Like, if you have free time or you feeling stressed out or you want to do a little something. Um, so I got this one. These are like, like bolts you put on. And this is a race car. And there's 31 pieces in there. I got a bunch of these. And so then I got a plane. And it has 30 pieces in it. And, this, and then another one of the bolts I got. This is a car. And it has 30 pieces in it. I don't know. I mean for a dollar and to give me a little bit of fun and a little bit of a challenge. Maybe. What is it for? Eight and up? Eight and up? That's like my craft area. <laughs> and then I got a biplane. And this has 27 pieces in it. I really walked down the kids' aisles. And I was kind of really glad I did. And then these are like little Lego type ones. This has 26 pieces in it. It's a little police car. <laughs> and then I got this one right here. It's a military vehicle with 26 pieces. And then this last one I got is a 3-in-1 multi-pack. So you can make all three of these inside there. It doesn't say how many pieces. There's 71 pieces in here. I don't know. I had this small goal because I bought shelving to hopefully put up here. Like some floating shelves. And I was going to put all my like little Legos and stuff on there. Because there's really no other place in the house to put them. I was even thinking about putting like my little carts and things like that up too. Because I just ordered another one. I don't know. It's just something for me to do. Something for me to do. Something is fun. Something that's cheap. And because they're so like easier... I won't get frustrated, you know? It's, a, it's something that'll bring me like a sense of calm or a sense of relaxation. Now comes, I think some of these things are the new stuff. So these are all the beauty like new stuff. Or something, this is, so I found this Crayola, I don't think this is new. And it's strawberry bath bomb. I don't know, I'm a sucker for a bath bomb. It's a dollar. Some of those other ones I've seen at the Dollar Tree that are bigger don't really, like, you know what I'm saying? Like they... I like them to go out quick. Like, I don't want to sit there and be done with my bathtub and there's still a bath bomb there. So I'm hoping that this one will do that. I have a feeling it's going to be like, this is a Crayola. It's probably pretty colored. That's what I'm thinking. And some of these things, if I test it out before the video comes out, I'll uh, put it down in the description what I thought about it. And then I got this. This is the Spa Life Anti-Aging Natural Attract Paraben and Sulfate Free Oxygen and Vitamin C Under Eye Strips. So it's probably how many are in here? It said, so there's 12 treatments in there. So I'm guessing there's 24 in here. And they're just little like, I don't know, iPads. I, I mean, since there's so many of them, let's take a look. I have a feeling it's like wet in here. Yeah, it's wet. So they're just little wet iPads. <laughs> so it looks like this. They smell nice, like fresh and clean with like a little bit of like fruity scent. I don't know, for a dollar to get 12 treatments? I'll try them out. <laughs> Why not? And then I saw these and so I, these were like new to me. I've never seen them. So I picked up two of them. L'Oreal Ever Pure Deep Moisturizing Hair Sheet Mask. And then I got the Intensive Repair. This one's for damaged hair and this one's for dry hair. I don't know. It's by L'Oreal. <laughs> and this is the other one. I hold it sideways so I can get the whole thing in there, but I guess I can do it like this. So what does it say? Before getting in the shower, open the packet and unfold the sheet mask. Shampoo hair and rinse. After shampooing, twist and wrap hair in a fully in the cap with the flat facing forward sticker to the seal. Gently massage the cap so hair is coated. Leave on for five minutes. Remove mask and rinse. So it's kind of like a conditioning treatment. I'm not going to open it right now because I don't, today's not hair wash day. <laughs> but have you guys used this one yet? If I use any of these before the video comes out, because I'm not sure exactly when it's going to come out. But I thought that was kind of neat. A dollar. Something like different. And then I picked up two lashes. Didn't know they had lashes. Now they have lashes. This is by, they're both by Diamond Cosmetics. Becca from Becca on a Budget, my really good friend. 
she has been just living that lash life and I feel like maybe I need to try again. I threw away almost all the lashes I had because I was like, I suck. But I figured these were a dollar. They even come with adhesive also. So this, it says date night, but they seem a little less bold. They have some crazy bold ones. And then I saw these. Feeling flirty. Look at that. Becca, you need to go and see if you can find these at uh, the Dollar Tree. I mean, look at that bling. Is it good for like a girl's night out or just, I mean, crap, you can use this whenever you want. Especially since we're still living that mask life, popping the eyes the best you can is, is a great way to do it. I'm not going to tie these right now, but if you see me in a video and I'm rocking these, I will let you know <laughs> that I'm rocking these. I just, I feel like I need practice. I just need practice and to take some time and dedicate a little bit of time just to figuring out how to do it correctly. Then maybe I'll be a lash girl. I mean, I feel like I have good lashes. It's not like they're bad lashes. Whenever you put a set of lashes on, it's like... <laughs> okay, now for a couple items you probably didn't care to see or probably won't really care. So I picked up a 20-pack of some panty liners. Now they have a brand, like an off-brand, that has 40 in them compared to the Carefree that has 20. And I have to say I bought that one and I just don't like them. I feel like the, the, the paper on the top comes off and like separates from it. So I'm going to go with the trusty, good old 20, 20 pack. And then I bought this before and I buy this every single time because I used to buy Summer's Eve and now I don't anymore. And this is just a feminine wash. I like it. I use it just there. Um, I know you guys say certain things about like, oh, you shouldn't use stuff, blah, 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 blah. I use it. I love it. It's fine. It works. And then I bought <laughs> some petroleum jelly because I need it for work. It's when I do a lash tint. Um, there's I put lap petroleum jelly in the top and then I put it underneath and put a pad on top of it so it sticks so I got this for work yet again probably not exciting and then I'm also getting low on dish soap so I decided to pick this one up now this one compared to the other two flavors flavors scents the other two scents had two more fluid ounces in it than the other Ajax ones now they had the big huge non-name brand but I find that Ajax is a little bit better then the other ones, it's not really that big of a deal. I didn't even smell it because in the store you're wearing a mask. What are you going to do? This is citrus pomegranate. Let's see. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. It doesn't even smell like citrus or pomegranate to me. Not that I know what pomegranate smells like. To me, it just says nice. Clean and fresh and fruity. Ooh. And it's pink. So cute. But yeah, I got that. And then there's two more items. Well, one I got six of and one I got two of. So I got this. Because we're going to redo the back porch. Um, I bought from Wish uh, like, a, like a back porch set. <laughs> and so I wanted to get new back porch things like uh, coasters to go back there. And this says, life is a journey. Enjoy every moment. Right now, I have American flag ones out there. But, so I got two of these. And these will be just going on the back porch. I like them because they were subtle. Because the set is kind of like a, I think, black. I think it's black. And these are subtle, whereas one back there are like kind of white, red, and blue. So they're like, they're there when you need to use them. But yeah, they're not like screaming at you like there's a coaster. And then for the last final item, I got six of the bowls. So now I have the complete set. <laughs> if you guys don't know before I found the white plates at my dumpster in a box completely sealed brand new of six plates so then a few hauls ago I went and got six of the small round plates and so the last thing I needed was to get rid of I have four plastic white bowls and they are just like old and not looking that great so I picked up six of these bowls I'll show you one now these are a little bit like not super like regular round but they seem pretty deep so the ones I have now are probably like this high but missing all this extra area now the goal was at some point because I have another another plate set that just has plates 
and then these big bowls that kind of like a pasta bowl and I have like eight each of them but I kind of want to get rid of them but their plates are bigger than other plates so if you're having a big meal you kind of want the bigger plate but the goal is to streamline all this stuff my, my goal is to streamline this whole entire house this year whether it take me six months or the whole entire year but to really streamline and make myself feel more comfortable in my own home I guess like not as overwhelmed as I've been lately because you do a whole lot of videos where's the stuff gonna go everywhere everywhere so I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> I know a lot of people do Dollar Tree hauls and they're all like I found all the new stuff and here's everything new that just came out this week well I would never know what's coming out each week unless I got somebody that I know it works at Dollar Tree is like hey we got some new stuff in otherwise every time I go there if I see anything it's brand new to me so it's, <laughs> it's new to me um, there were some few other things that I was thinking about picking up but I was like you know what I wanted to like pick up some food items but because I was going to work I didn't want to do any of that so you know there'll be more because I love me some Dollar Tree I just haven't been going as much because I'm just kind of like going in, grabbing a couple things for work and calling it a day. But luckily I had a lesser time today. Did a haul. It was like $32. Whenever it's over like 20 bucks, I'm always like, what did I get? <laughs> so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't yet subscribed, could today be the day? Hmm? Hmm? So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.